Storytime TV. Today I'll be reading Pig's Egg, written by Catherine Sully, illustrated by Sam Chaffee. Pig loved the farmyard. There was always something going on. Pig loved being a pig too, but sometimes he couldn't help feeling left out. Goose could fly, duck could fly, even hen could fly. But try as he might, Pig just couldn't seem to get the hang of it. Then one spring morning, Pig went to see Hen. "What are you doing?" he asked Hen. "I'm hatching an egg," said Hen. Just then, the egg cracked, and out popped a fluffy chick. "You'll have to excuse me, Pig," said Hen. "I'm far too busy to talk to you now." Pig went to see Duck. "What are you doing?" he asked Duck. "I'm hatching an egg," said Duck. Just then, the egg cracked, and out popped a fluffy duckling. "You'll have to excuse me, Pig," said Duck. "I'm far too busy to talk to you now." Pig went to see Goose. "What are you doing?" he asked Goose. "I'm hatching an egg," said Goose. Just then, the egg cracked, and out popped a fluffy gosling. You'll have to excuse me, Pig," said Goose. "I'm far too busy to talk to you now." Pig went back to his sty, feeling even more left out. Pig was just digging in it into his dinner when he spotted something on the ground. It was shaped like an egg. "I've laid an egg!" cried Pig. He didn't feel left out any more. Pig looked after his egg carefully. Hen brought her chick to visit Pig. What's that you've got there, Pig? Asked Hen. It's my egg," said Pig proudly. Pigs don't lay eggs," said Hen. "It looks like a turnip. It's not a turnip," said Pig. "It's an egg." Duck brought a duckling to visit Pig. "What's that you've got there, Pig?" asked Duck. "It's my egg," said Pig. "That's not an egg," said Duck. "It's a turnip." "It's not a turnip." Said Pig, "It's an egg." Goose brought her go- gosling to visit Pig. "What's that you've got there, Pig?" asked Goose. "It's not a turnip," said Pig. "It's an egg." But when the egg didn't crack, Pig began to wonder. Maybe they're right, thought Pig sadly. Maybe it is a turnip. Pig sighed. "There's only one way to find out. I'll eat it." Pig opened his mouth wide, but just as he was about to bite into it, he noticed a tiny hole. The tiny hole got bigger and bigger, and something very small wriggled out of it. "My baby!" cried Pig with pride. Pig took great care of his baby. He fed it cabbage leaves, and it got fatter and fatter. Pig called to hen and duck and goose. Come and see my baby," he said. But when they reached the sty, there was no sign of Pig's baby. Instead, there was a crinkly green egg. Hen and Duck and Goose patted Pig. Never mind," they said. The next morning, something very strange happened. As Pig lay sighing and staring at the crinkly green egg, it began to crack. Out wriggled the most beautiful creature Pig had ever seen. It flapped its wings and flew away. Pig jumped up and danced after it. "What are you doing, Pig?" asked Hen, Duck, and Goose. "You'll have to excuse me," said Pig. "I'm far too busy to talk to you now. I'm teaching my baby to fly." Oh, I love that story. I hope you enjoyed the book. I did, and if you want to have us read any other books, just say it in the comments. Bye. I hope you liked this story. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for visiting Storytime TV.